okay now friction plus pure rolling in which uh, we took this uh, this may be a ring or a disc or solid sphere or hollow sphere just we are pushing this one when uh, i push this one after uh, traveling certain distance it comes uh, to a pure rolling that means after some time these effects it is moving with a velocity v not and there is a friction is acting in the backward direction that is nothing but f minus mu into mg frictional forces when i push this one this frictional forces try to decrease this velocity and uh, it will becomes v is equals to r omega so v is uh, trying to decrease and omega trying to increase so by method 1 we calculated for four bodies that is uh, what is v for v for disc how much you got it as v for disc 2v not 2v not by 3 that is lot of uh, next uh, v for uh, ring v not by 2 v not by 2 next for uh, this uh, hollow sphere hollow sphere 3v not by 3 3v not by 5 next for solid sphere 5v not by 7 5v not by 7 is already we calculated by method 1 now by method 2 how we can calculate this velocity let us take this is a disc now this is a disc similar manner you can calculate for ring hollow sphere solid sphere only moment of inertia will changes okay now i can apply net torque concept net torque equals to zero net torque is zero How net torque is same? See here, this is the force. This nothing but a radius. Above the center, it cannot be zero because the torque is acting above the center. There is a torque above the center, center of mass. So this is a force. This nothing but mass. So I cannot apply at the center of mass. Now center of mass, the torque at center of mass is not equal to zero. Because there is a friction which is acting at perpendicular distance. Now can I can I apply at this point torque? I can apply torque at this point. Here the weight of it is acting downwards. Mg mg is acting downward. I can apply torque at this point. Now when torque net torque about this point, let us take it as at point P is what zero. Then the uh, initial angular uh, momentum is equal to final angular momentum. Initial angular momentum is equal to final angular momentum. Now the next uh, story here. <coughs> what is the uh, any point? First it is going translational, then it is coming what rotational, translational and rotational. For translational and rotation, L is equal to R cross P plus. Right, I into omega R cross P plus I into omega. One is due to translation, one is due to what? The rotation. Initially, omega for this is nothing but zero. Only it is moving with v not with velocity uh, v not and mass is m and perpendicular distance is r. So I can write m v m v r m v not r. Right. So M V not R. This is nothing but going in a. Just if I extend this vector, this is R cross V. It is going in clockwise direction. Clockwise direction. Let us take it as negative initially, and it is not rotating. It will be zero equals to finally final. It is going to that point. Here a M V M V not into R. M V not into R. That means here V not is nothing but V final velocity is V that we have to calculate. This is also turning. Let us take it as this is R. So it is moving uh, R to V like this. This is clockwise direction. This also will take it as negative. So whatever we are taking the same direction, omega direction also will take it as what negative. 
So I into omega. So plus this is nothing but minus I into omega. <coughs> I into omega. But omega is nothing but omega is equal to V by R. Am I right? Because it should come into pure rolling. The condition should be satisfied. V is equal to R omega. <coughs> now uh, omega is V by R. I is moment of inertia of a disk. I is moment of inertia of disk is M R square by 2. And omega is equals to V by R. Take that as substitute in the equation. Now minus M V naught R equals to minus M V R minus I. I can clean as M R square by 2 into V by R. So R R will get the answer. R R will get the answer. So here are M R, M R, M R, M R, M R, R will get the answer. So minus also get the V naught equals to V plus V by 2. <coughs> okay. So V naught equals to 3 V by 2. Or V is equals to 2 V naught by 3. 2 V naught by 3. V is equals to 2 V naught by 3. Now if you want the time taken, so time directly, if you know 2 V naught by 3, you can substitute that one. Here uh, V is equals to U plus A T. V equals to U plus A T. Your acceleration can be calculated. Friction F is equals to M A equal to minus mu into M into G. This two will get cancelled. A is equal to minus mu into G. This is what acceleration. This substitute V. Final velocity is how much? 2 V naught by 3 is the final velocity equals to initial velocity is V naught. V naught minus mu into G into T. So you think that side <coughs> mu G T equals to V naught minus 2 V naught by 3. We will be getting a mu G T equals to V naught by 3. Or T is equals to mu G V naught by 3. This is the same answer. Just check it out. Hmm? Yes sir now. Hmm? That is what the time. So like this, in the same process, we can calculate for ring, hollow sphere and what? Solid sphere. So here we are taking initially it is at rest. Initially at rest. This is method 2. If you want to calculate, uh, if it is rotating with some velocity, it is rotating with some angular velocity, then what is the final linear velocity? So that is given in a SC1 model. We will take that one. Take it out.